Hi everyone, so uh, today in Tech Talk we are going to look at the potential solution to a common problem we've been facing within the practice. Uh, with all the new sales and payment platforms, we've had some real difficulties trying to consolidate all this information into the accounting systems. Uh, we've had poor integrations which either pull information through intermittently or in more worrying cases just not at all. And VAT seems to be a particular issue in this area. Uh, there has been some movement in this technology though and one of the market leaders has emerged from Dext. So to help us talk through their new feature, I've asked Freddie from Dext along uh, to Ascentis TV. Here's what he had to say. So welcome to Ascentis TV, Freddie. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. It's great to see you. And Julie Lee, yeah, thanks very much for having me. How are you? Yeah, very good, thank you. So I don't, I don't know if you could just start by giving us a quick uh, introduction to yourself, what you do at Dex, uh, but then maybe talk about Receipt Bank and how it evolved into Dex and what you hope to achieve from the rebrand. Yeah, definitely. So just to start off, um, introducing myself, my name is Freddie. I work in the practice solutions team here at Dex. Uh, so I spent a, a number of years working in practice and I've been here for, for a couple of years now or I help enable all the different products that we that we have here now at Dext. Uh, in terms of the history of the company to get to where we are now, we were previously known as, as Receipt Bank, as Lee just said, where we, we had the one product which um, we were best known for. That product focuses on the extraction and automation of cost data, so any expense receipts that are coming through the business, uh, so it extracts the data and automates that part. Um, since then, uh, we have evolved into a, a multi-product platform. Uh, we rebranded to Dext in 2021 to encapsulate this, this new vision of going into different products. Um, and we've actually been through yeah, various funding rounds and investments since then as well, which has helped support that growth with our most recent acquisition being Dex Commerce, which is our new, new shiny toy that, um, that, we've, that we've got now. Perfect. So yeah, that takes us directly to Dex Commerce, which is the main focus of this. Uh, I didn't know if you just wanted to give us a start, a little overview of what it does. For sure, yeah. Um, so in terms of Dex Commerce, what we do is we connect to sales platforms. So if anyone out there is selling on the likes of Shopify or Amazon or eBay, or maybe they're collecting payments through PayPal or Stripe, what Dex Commerce does is it captures information from these different platforms. It automates the categorization of that data. Um, it then pushes that data into either Xero or QuickBooks as reconciled information. So the idea here is, is to automate and making, making sure it's accurate as well, the data that's coming from these platforms into your accounting software. So you've mentioned some of the big hitters there. I didn't know if you could give us a, an insight into some of the other platforms that you integrate with. Sure, yeah. So. In terms of our sort of core uh, integrations or marketplaces, we have the likes of uh, Amazon, Amazon Seller Central, eBay, uh, Shopify, Etsy, but also platforms like Square. So if you've got some um, terminals in in some restaurants, that kind of thing, we also deal with those kind of um, businesses. We've got Stripe, PayPal, uh, WooCommerce um, for websites. So quite a variety of different platforms. And what we try to do is have an area that um, if you sell on these multiple platforms, it's all going to come into that same place and be dealt with in the, in the same way. Um, so, yeah, we do integrate with, with quite a few different uh, marketplaces currently. Fantastic. And is Dex Commerce aimed at anyone in particular? Uh, yeah, I'd say it's um, our sweet spot is anyone that's selling on these kind of platforms that maybe are currently doing it manually and spending a bit of time time doing that, getting it into, into either Xero or QuickBooks because it from experience, it can be quite a, a hassle making sure it's accurate for, for MTD, but also getting it in efficiently. So we've speaking to quite a few people who have said actually it's taking quite a lot of time to get that information into um, the platform. Um, so yeah, by using something like this, it's freeing up a bit of time so they don't have to worry about you know the nitty gritty of getting the data in, but actually focus on growing their business, which is obviously what we all want to be doing. Yeah, and I've seen it, it's been a real pain point for some of our other clients where they've got multiple multiple platforms where they're selling from and then getting the accounting entries from that becomes quite a manual process. Yeah. So I, I guess in, in 
in that sense, you know, are, are there any benefits for uh, customers actually signing up through a preferred partner like Ascentis? Yeah, so we actually partner with with, with firms like pra accountancy practices like Ascentis because we know that actually there is quite a lot of accounting knowledge you need to get this data in accurately. So that's definitely another, a big bonus of partnering with Ascentis and going through that route is that you do get that expertise that they can give in terms of the setup. Um, there's also a, a better price going through uh, someone like Ascentis because we partner with them and we like Lee, so we can <laughs> give them a better price than if you were to go directly. So that's another another benefit. And we know as well um, through Lee, you do get really good support in terms of yeah that setup initially for sure. And I guess uh, because we've mentioned price there, it takes us on to a really good point in terms of return on investment. So I imagine there is a little bit of a, uh, a setup cost involved, but what kind of return on investment have you seen in business cases that you've dealt with recently? Yeah, so I've actually got a, an example here. If I just switch over to this next slide. So this is a, an example of uh, one of the businesses that we've helped recently. Um, Steph was spending over eight hours each week downloading her digital sales from five different platforms. So Steph um, was selling on different platforms. Um, she then implemented Dex Commerce, um, which um, captured the information from each platform automatically, um, automated it and pushed it straight into zero for her. And she was able to reduce her workload by over 50 percent. Um, and she's told us that she's now been able to spend that time growing her business. So, you know, it, you know, the more integrations you have, it can become quite um, time consuming. And yeah, it's, it's really useful to have a system in place just to make sure that information is going in a bit more efficiently. So, yeah, we've got quite a few cases like this where someone has come to us and said, you know, we're spending quite a lot of time doing this. A bit of configuration at the start to get Dex Commerce or LinkedIn, but once it's linked in, uh, yeah, you can get quite a good return on investment for sure. Yeah, we really try and stress, you know, uh, efficiency through automation. Nobody wants to be doing that manual inputting. Let, let the computers do that. They're much better at it than us. And then you can work in other sure. areas. Uh, yeah. So, look, there's probably a lot of people out there who have got all these multiple different platforms. As, all sorts of options for taking payment off people and why wouldn't you kind of make that available to people so have you got any advice for anyone that seems to be overwhelmed by all these kind of different sales platforms at the moment yeah i mean it's what i would definitely say is don't get put off by the different don't forget put off by going to using different platforms just because it's a hassle getting it into a zero quickbooks there are solutions out there that can help with automating it um so we came across quite a few people who said look we do want to sell on different platforms. We want to collect payments through different ways, but we don't want to do it because we know the hassle at the other end, you know, getting it out into zero. So my suggestion would be, you know, find a solution that does consolidate all that information, um, automate that part of it. So it's again, freeing you up to do the more valuable stuff. Very good advice. Thank you for that. So listen, um, that does sound like a really good solution to the problem I identified kind of at the beginning of this tech talk i didn't know if it was uh, appropriate or if you could just show us a little demonstration so people can actually see dex commerce in action yeah for sure uh, let me just switch over to my other screen there we go hopefully you can see that okay lee yes yeah that's great so yeah this is this is dex commerce this is what you would see um if you linked all of your accounts in to dex commerce as a business so you can see here this particular example we have a client that has multiple integrations we've got shopify etsy amazon so they're selling products on different integrations and then we've got zero linked as well and what we've got on dex commerce is two i'd say two main areas we've got the transactions tab and we've got the bulk export area the transactions tab is is showing all transactions across all of the accounts that you sell on so again we talked about you know selling on multiple platforms and how you know, downloading reports from Amazon and eBay and maybe manipulating that to put it into zero can be a bit of a hassle. Yeah. Well, on Dex Commerce, what, what you get is, a, is a, a, a an area where you can see all the transactions from a bit of a higher level. So you can see here, we give a snapshot of the total sales, refunds, fees and reimbursements from each platform. Um, and you can see the totals up in the right hand corner here. You can filter to the different platforms here as well to give you the different data. And we've also got this search area as well. So again, this is a really good, almost like a holding area before that data is going to hit 
zero. It's there so you can search different date ranges. You can match the data against the different reports in Amazon, for example. Um, you can see the date range uh, filter here. And what that's going to do is allow you to see the data before it hits zero, or maybe when you're trying to retrospect retrospectively reconcile uh, that data. So again, a lot of partners we work with um, really like this area to you know, identify what transactions have flowed into the, to the, to the platform. Um, great benchmarking as well so which platforms are generating the most sales exactly yeah so you can use it in as almost like an insight as well that's right Lee so if you want to see across all your platforms um maybe who are you paying the most fees to because actually if you're paying too many fees to one platform you maybe you want to start to look at focusing on the other platform so again this is the area that you can compare and contrast against the different platforms total sales fees refunds I suppose if you've got different platforms and you're just you're looking at each report individually, you don't sort of get that sort of cross um, insight that you do on this this dashboard. So, so yeah, we do get really good feedback on this area. That actually now it's all in one place. You can see yeah, the differences between the different platforms. Um, we also give quite good information in terms of the, the information from each transaction. So if I scroll down here and click into a transaction, you can see that we give really granular detail in terms of every transaction that's pulled in. And what that does is it allows us to then set various rules on the transactions to make sure it's being categorized correctly. Um, so making sure that the right VAT is applied, making sure it's going to the right chart of account code. All this information here, we can then use to map to push into zero into the correct place. So we've heard quite a few stories of, you know, people downloading reports, putting that information into a, a CSV, putting onto a spreadsheet, finding out the VAT, um, you know, with these intricate Excel formulas. But what Dex Commerce does is bring it all in and sort of map it all for you. So you don't have to uh, use Excel to almost bridge that across. Okay. Especially as we, as we sort of move into MTD and it's important to have that digital link rightly. So this also is MTD compliant and getting it in compliantly. Um, so you, we also tick that box as well. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, I'll just really quickly um, show this bulk export area because this is where we get the data in. Um, so this bulk export is then going to allow um, whoever's working on the job to then send it, these transactions to the right place within Xero. Um, so almost like our other product, Dex Prepare, um, you're sort of mapping each transaction to the right account, um, to the right contact, to the right uh, chart of account code in Xero or QuickBooks. So sending the sales to sales, for example. And as you export these items, um, they're going to all flow into zero into the correct places. Uh, quite a new feature as well, Lee. I'm not sure if you've seen this uh, yet. It's fairly newly dropped in. We've also got auto export in Dex Commerce now. So, um, you know, items flow in automatically map and now automatically publish into either zero or QuickBooks. So um, when set up properly, it can be, you know, fully hands off and giving people a bit of time back. Popular feature in uh, uh, what was Receipt Bank and now Dex Prepare as well. Yes, definitely. Yeah, very heavily used. Excellent. Look, that's really useful insight. That thank you. And I will check out Freddy's fridges to see if I can get any discounts on my <laughs> white goods there. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. It's, been, it's been really useful. You uh, joining us and taking us around Dex Commerce. I'm sure. Uh, people will have a lot more questions, but we can we can deal with them on a one to one. There's there's lots to go through with Dex Commerce, but as a concept and as a as a, a tool to actually gather in all them different sales platforms is a really useful piece of software, and we've benefited from it recently with some of our clients that we've used as well. Great. So thank you very here. much for that demonstration. No problem. Yeah, really really good to be on here. Thanks, Lee. Yeah, lovely to chat to you, Freddie, and take care, and we'll see you soon. Great. Thanks, Lee. Cheers. See you later.